Your views on the Culling Black Label Cup so far? Yeah, look, it's something different. It's something new. You know, uh, we've got to move with the times. You've got to do, try and do kind of innovative things. I thought the charity spectacular was pretty tired. You know, it'd been going on for 25 years. It was, it was losing a bit of interest from uh, from the spectators. And so I think, um, you know, it, it, not that the Culling Black Label Cup uh, necessarily replaced the Charity Cup, but I think it, it's it's come into the slot uh, one week before the start of the, the new season, so the inference can be made. But I think uh, time for something different. So I, I'm prepared to um, have a look at it and see how it goes and uh, make make up my opinion over the next few years. Do you see it developing into something as spectacular like the Charity Cup as we had in the past? No, I don't think so. I think it'll be a gimmick game. You know, at the end of the day, it's a bit of fun, chance for the fans, nice promotion. They sell a lot of beer. Clubs make a bit of money. You know, I mean, let's be realistic about it. At the end of the day, uh, it's you know, it's not like we're going to change world football here. Okay, in terms of the uh, player movements uh, on the domestic scene, uh, who has captured your imagination so far? Uh, I think Kaiser Chiefs have surprised me with the way that they've gone into the transfer market because you will remember how poorly they uh, did in the last two transfer markets and in fact how much criticism they received for the fact that they didn't um, buy perhaps enough. Now the purchase of Majoro and Parker up front, uh, Keegan Ritchie, uh, you know it's a strong statement from Kaiser Chiefs, they've been perhaps made bigger and better and smarter buys than Patrice Motsepe who normally dominates the, the market at this time of the year. But we're, we're still four weeks away from the end of the transfer window so uh, there's still a lot of activity to come. There's always the, the frantic last two weeks before the before the deadline closes. Okay. Uh, Chiefs and Pirates always uh, get criticized whenever they get together for events like this but other teams have got their own tournaments. Tomorrow there's Mangaun Cup and Mopani as well. Do you think this is a message to them to say you need to start marketing your game seriously to make sure that you get the supporters? Well, the reality of South African football, and it's the reality in many countries around the world, is we have two big teams, you know, we, Barcelona and Real Madrid in Spain, uh, Ajax, Feyenoord, PSV in Holland. You can, you know, you can carry on for half an hour on countries with uh, t two massive clubs and, and a supporting cast, and that's the same story in South Africa, you know, Chiefs and Pirates. Um, get the fans in, they pull the biggest crowds, they sell the most merchandising, they fill the most centimeters of uh, newspaper and television space. So at the end of the day, you know, if you want to be up there and challenging them, you've got to put 30, 40, 50 years worth of history behind you and be successful. You know, the fans at the end of the day support the winning side. Okay, please, thanks a lot. No worries.